this Geeta, faculty from the Department of History, Government City College. A like vibration and its effect. Who was Alexander? He was the ruler of Macedonia, son of Philips, who wanted to conquer the whole world. He wanted to become the world conqueror. What made him to dream to become world conqueror? That we we'll try to see his early life and other things. Before that, we will see the conditions of India since 6th century BCE, which culminated by the time we come to the 4th century BCE, culminated or led to Alexander's invasion. That we will try to look into. In India, in the 6th century before common era, when Magadha was trying to build up an extensive empire in the northwestern frontier of India, foreign invasions had started. The first foreigner who tried to penetrate into India were the Persians. The first ruler, Persian ruler, was Cyrus, who had established a Persian empire and ruled from 588 to 530 BCE. He was the first foreigner to invade northwestern part of India and annex into his empire. His successor, Darius I, was another ruler who ruled from 522 to 486 BCE, conquered the North Punjab. The inscriptions at Persepolis and Akshay Rustam mention that Northern in Punjab as a part of the Darius Empire and that the Punjab was the 20th Satrap, that is province of the empire of Darius. However, the conquest of Persians proved short-lived and did not affect Indian politics in any way. But it paved the way for the conquest of Alexander, who invaded towards the end of the 4th century BC. Coming to the causes for Alexander's invasion. The Greeks had come into contact with the Persians during the Greco-Persian Wars, in which Greeks had defeated the Persians. It is during this time that the Greeks dreamt of entering into India under the leadership of Alexander. Coming to the conditions which prevailed in India or the causes for Alexander's invasion. One, the political disunity that prevailed in northern west, northwestern India where small states like Cambodia, Gandhara, Madra, etc. were existing. The rulers were quarreling among themselves and this disunity provided this chance and temptation for foreigners to invade. In the 4th century BCE, there was severe competition between the Persians and the Greeks for world domination. 
Alexander, the ruler of Macedonia, had conquered Greece and wanted to be a world conqueror. And the decline of Persian Empire by this time provided opportunity to Alexander. Thirdly, after conquering Egypt and Syria, Alexander invaded Persia and defeated the Persian Emperor Darius III in the War of Arabia. These victories emboldened Alexander and encouraged him to conquer the northwestern parts of India. Fourthly, the wealth of India also attracted Alexander. Lastly, it is said that the ruler of Taxila, Bombay's father, is said to have sent an invitation to Alexander to invade while he was in Bukhara. Now, before we come to the course of invasions, let us have a brief look at the early life of Alexander. Alexander was born in Macedonia. He was father was the king of Macedonia, that is Philip's king of Macedonia, where city states had existed in Greece. Especially rivalry existed between Sparta and Athens. Alexander had conquered the whole of northern Greece and later on annexed even southern parts of Greece. That's how, for the first time, the Greek Empire was established. It is this these victories which helped Alexander to dream to become a world conqueror. As we had seen earlier, after conquering Greece, he conquered Syria, Egypt, and Persia, and then he turned his attention towards India. After defeat, the coming to the course of invasion, after defeating the Persian Emperor in 333 BC, Alex, Alexander pursued his, his march towards the east and started conquering kingdoms en route with crossing Hindu Kush mountains in 327 BC and came to India through Khyber Pass. In the northwest and western part Punjab, he conquered the kingdoms of Asavayana, Aswakayana, Abhisara, Pushkalavati, Nyasa, Urusa, and so on. Though these rulers offered stiff resistance, but yet were defeated by Alexander. In 326 BCE, Alexander crossed river Indus and was welcomed by Ambi, the ruler of Taxila, who surrendered to Alexander even before offering any resistance. Alexander, after that, crossed river Chelem and invaded the kingdom of Horus. And on the banks of river Chelem, the famous battle of Hyda space was fought. In this battle, Horus fought gallantly and was defeated and was captured by Greek forces. Horus was brought before Alexander, who was pleased with his courage, where Horus answered him that he should be treated as a king. Alexander was impressed by this, reinstated him in his, as king in his kingdom. After that, a few more Republican states were conquered by Alexander and he marched further towards east and reached the banks of river Piyas and wanted to invade Magadha. However, the Greek soldiers were, who were worn out with the years of hard campaigning and were anxious to return to their homeland and faced by the reckless courage of the Indian soldiers, 
they refused to march further, which made Alexander to retreat. He retreated by the river route and on the way captured few more Republican states like Matawas, Amlastas, Natala, that is modern Karachi, Patala, in 325 BCE. After reaching the river Indus near Karachi, he divided his army into two parts. One part of his army led when retreated by the sea route. The second one himself, which he led, he retreated by the land route and reached Babylon where he died in 323. BCE. Can you come to me?